This HAN Network video is brought to you by Manfredi Jewelers. From the campus of Fairfield Ward High School, this is the HAN Network's 2016 Winter Sports Tour. I'm Frank Renito, and I'm joined with the Mustangs swimming and diving captains. They are Joseph McKee and Daniel Knorr. Gentlemen, thank you for taking time with us today. Daniel, let me start with you. What did it mean being named a captain heading into your senior season? Uh, I think it meant that my team realized that I was dedicated to the other guys on the team and that I actually enjoyed swimming and I wanted it to be a big part of my life. And so it was kind of a big reward for you know, getting to know a lot of them over the four years and uh, working hard with them on the pool. So I think just being chosen as captain showed that it was all worth it and they recognized that. Joe, as you guys get closer and closer to that first meet, what has the off-season training been like and how have you been getting ready for this race? Well, uh, we have a lot of swimmers who uh, obviously uh, swim on club teams, and they've they've been working really hard in the off season, going to uh, six or seven practices a week. You know, both morning and uh, afternoon practices, and you know, it. I think it's going to really show during the season. Now, Daniel, you guys had the most wins in program history last year. How do you build off that now and translate it into this next season as you continue to improve with the team? Uh, well, obviously, we lost a lot of seniors last year, so we have to fill those holes with some of our new swimmers. And um, being combined with Ludlow like we were last year, uh, our team is definitely bigger this year. So we're hoping in there there's the talent that we need to uh, really cover what we're losing. Um, and really to keep that going, uh, of course, all programs lost seniors. We're not unique in that. So we're just hoping that, you know, the people that are left on our team, we're going to train harder than the people that were left on the other teams. <laughs> Joe, who are some of the new swimmers or younger faces that might make an impact this year we should keep an eye out for? Well, we, uh, we got some new uh, swimmers. Like we got CJ and um, we got, you know, Jake. And there's a bunch of really great kids who just joined the team. A lot of them do have competitive experience, and I think they're going to make a really big impact on the uh, team, and hopefully I will do better this year. Daniel, if there's one meet that really stands out this season, who are you guys most excited to swim against this year? I'm excited for Norwalk. Um, we didn't quite beat them last year. We came close, but then we realized that we really should have beaten them. So uh, this year we're going to try and actually do it, and it'll be a good season if we do. And Joe, final question here. If this team is going to accomplish all the goals they want to, it'll be because they do what in the pool this season? I think really just show dedication and uh, put in as much effort as possible. You know, uh, swimming's a sport about really just putting in the work. And um, as long as they come every day and uh, work their butts off, I think we're going to have a great season. Well, boys, thank you so much for taking time with us. We want to wish you the best of luck in the pool this season. and We'll see you throughout the winter. Alongside the swimming and diving captains for the Fairfield Co-op team, I'm Frank Renito. Make sure you stay tuned to the HAN Network as our 2016 Winter Sports Tour continues to roll on through the rest of the conference.